struggling to get good audio for your YouTube videos because microphones are way too expensive. In this video, I will share with you guys the best and cheapest shotgun mic out there for your DSLR camera, which might be on the same level or even better than the famous Rode Video Micro. Stick around for the Tagstar SGC598, which only costs 27 bucks. But first, let's roll the intro. Guys, it's your boy Clubs Tam, aka the eShop Guinea Pig, and today we're gonna be reviewing the Tagstar SGC598 from Guangdong in China, which only costs twenty-seven dollars. And we'll be comparing it to the Rode Video Micro, which costs sixty dollars, and compare these two and see who wins the competition. Currently, I'm filming this intro with the Tagstar, so you guys can have a sneak peek of what this bad boy can actually produce. If you haven't subscribed this channel, please hit that subscribe button and check that bell for me. Thank you, because I'll be posting weekly videos on Chinese merch. Well, I tend to post weekly videos, but sometimes I get busy and lazy. And hope you guys get high. No, the highest quality, but also the cheapest product online to step up your content creation skills. But back to the main thing, the Tagstar SGC598 from Guangdong, is it worth or just hype? Let's dive straight into what's inside the box. We got the cloth bag, a single page A4 side tutorial manual, some extra shock mounts, and of course, the body and the windshield itself. The SGC598 is powered by only one AE battery, which luckily is also included in the package so you can use it straight out from the box. Let's start with what the body could offer. It has three switches. First, of course, the on and off switch, which powers the unit and activates the back LED to green. However, if the battery is low, it will turn itself to a red, so you know it's time to charge that battery. The second switch is the plus 10 dB gain switch, which manually bumps up the sensitivity of the mic this could amplify the volume to a certain extent. Lastly, we have the low cut switch, which could reduce some ambient sound. I tend to leave this one on, although there isn't a huge difference in my opinion if you're recording indoor. The body itself is made out of plastic, but it is very sturdy and rigid in my opinion. The inside of the microphone tube is made out of metal. It can eliminate some of the ambient noise coming from the sides with the interference tube design. It features a coiled 3.5mm jack and a cold shoe mount which is made out of metal. The knob that tightens the shoe is made with plastic which keeps it simple to tighten it to your DSLR. But let's drop the boring stuff and shoot right into assembling this bad boy. Run some audio tests and comparing it with a Rode Video Micro and the in-camera mic on the Nikon D5100. This is the sound quality test from the Tagstar SGC598, around 30 inch between me and the mic. This is a sound quality test of the Rode Video Micro, around 30 inch between me and the mic. This is a sound quality test for the Tagstar SGC598, around 60 inch from me and the mic. This is the sound quality of the Rode Video Micro, around 60 inch between me and the mic. This is the sound quality of the Rode Video Micro, around 60 inch between me and the mic. This is a sound quality test for the Tagstar SGC598, around 90 inch from me and the mic. This is the sound quality test of the Rode Video Micro, around 90 inch between me and the mic. This is the sound quality of the Tagstar SGC598, when it's right here under my mouth. This is a sound quality test of the Rode Video Micro when the mic is right under my mouth. Alright, we're currently using the Rode Video Micro to test the outdoor capability and see how this compares to the Tagstar SGC598. And uh, we're in a crowded street, there's like uh, cars over here, so yeah. Right, this is the sound quality test for the Tagstar SGC598 on a plus 10 dB gain switch. I'm currently out on an outdoor environment with a lot of cars around me. 
I'm currently filming on the Tagstar SGC598 but on a 0 dB gain switch. Currently in an outdoor environment and a vlogging distance and there's a cars around so hopefully you could pick up some of that ambient noise and hopefully you guys can compare it with the Rode Video Micro, no problem. I right, currently yeah, I'm using the in-camera mic without the tax star nor the Rode and hopefully you guys can have a comparison between the in-camera mic between the tax star and the Rode. So uh, once again this is the in-camera mic from the Nikon D5100. Hope you guys have a chance to hear both of the mic perform in certain conditions. However, the Tagstar mics excels as a shotgun mic. With a little bit of tweaking with the Adobe Audition, your audio from the Tagstar could turn to this. Better and crispier audio from the Tagstar. As a totally honest product review, we gotta have to talk about the pros and the cons of the Tagstar SGC598. As a $27 mic, the sound quality doesn't disappoint. It is perfect for hobbyists who wants to save up, but also to be able to achieve better sound quality. Although it is from some Chinese manufacturer, the build definitely doesn't feel cheap at all. It is very sturdy and the weigh is perfect, weighing around 6.6 .6 ounce only. The downside is that the size is considerably larger than the Rode Video Micro. It will make your camera look a bit bulkier due to the long mic tube. I also don't like how to have to make the user switch on the device in order to use it. It is definitely a better design if they could put the LED light in front or just use the camera to power itself. There were definitely times where I forgot to turn on the mic and I gotta have to do a reshoot. Lastly, the shock mount feels a little bit too rigid in my opinion, which isn't ideal to use it when there's a lot of camera movement. Bottom line, the Techstar SGC598 is a well-rounded shotgun mic in a well-affordable price range. With a little bit of tweaking, you can get even richer sound from the same body. It also excels very well as a shotgun mic. However, make sure to turn the camera mic to a level 1, but boost the mic to a plus 10 dB to minimize any hissing sound that the mic could produce. As a $27 mic, it is definitely a cope if you are a hobbyist and looking to up your video sound quality. If you're ready to experience what the Tagstar can provide, I suggest you to click the link below and cope it ASAP. You won't be disappointed about the sound quality that these mics have to offer. Please, if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up, comment below on which mic you will be choosing and hope you will find this video helpful. Lastly, follow the Chinese Merch Police Instagram for more upcoming giveaways. To all you Chinese Merch Copers, shop safe online and don't get scammed. Peace out and see you guys next time.